Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. I'm here today with Promise and we're going to talk to you about a little bit of a different subject for today's blog video. We're going to talk about something called targeting. So I learned about targeting as I started really getting into and exploring clicker training at the beginning of this year and I found that it is one of the one of the tools or one of the exercises that's really useful for both horses and people when you're first introducing target training again whether it's the horse that's unfamiliar with it or the person or both and then it has a lot of really applicable uses as far as other places that you can use it in your training so what target training basically is is just teaching the horse to touch something on command so i kind of made my own homemade little target here which is literally just a water bottle um, on the end of a stick and, um, and that's what I use to teach them to target. And then I'll show you the different places that you can use it. Once they kind of get the concept of touching something, you can start to use it for things that are scary. So you can ask the horse to go up and basically target to something that he's spooking at. Another place that I use it for her, which again, I'll show you later, is I also taught her to target um, just my closed fist and basically, <laughs> good curl, um, touch that. And then I use that when I'm out on the trails with her. So she is, she's got some physical issues that I haven't been able to ride her yet, but I do take her out for walks on the trails just to get her used to going out. And I can use the targeting just to my fist as an exercise that helps keep her connected and basically get her attention back if she starts getting distracted out there. And there's a lot of other ways that I'll use um, this physical target. And again, I'll show you that in just a minute. And she's getting a little bit restless because I think she sees me holding it and she needs a little bit more work at just standing still. So what I'm going to start with, this is actually just kind of another, another useful thing that I learned with the clicker training that I had made the mistake of not doing in the beginning is making standing still and being calm the default. So I'm gonna reward her here just for standing still there where she actually kind of put her attention away from me instead of being you know, quite as focused on me and on the little bag of treats that I have here. So I'm just gonna reinforce that once or twice and then we'll go to the target. So she knows the targeting really well so I wanted to use her to kind of show you what it looks like and all the different ways that you can use it. So I'm gonna put this out here. Good girl. And then you'll see she's got the idea that I can move it around. You can put a word to it too if you want. Like I can tell her here to touch. Good girl, touch. Good girl. And I'm using the clicker in conjunction. So if you've watched some of the other videos that I've done, um, kind of introducing clicker training, remember that the clicker is the bridge signal. So the clicker is what tells the horse that what you just did was right. And then the food basically is the positive reinforcement that makes them want to do it again. Good girl. Okay, so now I'll show you a little bit where I use this. So we haven't worked on this for a long time. I don't know if she's going to really remember it, but I've used targeting to teach head down. So instead of having to put pressure and like keep pressure on the pole for head down, I introduce it with the target. Back her up just a step here. <laughs> I introduce it with the target. So I'll put my hand here, put the target out, and that encourages the head down. So I started doing that with her. So I didn't really have to put pressure on top of the head. I would just put my hand there, put the target out, and then click the head going down instead of the actual touching of the target. And then what I was able to do is after some repetition of that, I was able to take away, basically bringing the target out, just put my hand here, sit, and click for dropping the head. So she didn't remember this one quite as well as I thought she was going to, but like I said, it's been a while since we worked on this. There we go. That was a little bit better. Good girl. So 
So we'll do this just a few more times and then I'll show you some of the other exercises. <laughs> we head back up, there we go. Good girl. Okay, so not perfect, but you can see how I kind of used the target to help introduce that behavior. Now another one that I used it to, to help with her is she was very sour about being ridden. She's very sour about having, about the mounting block and about having a person just kind of generally in the area of, of her, her withers and her back. And the physical issue that she has is she's got a lot of back pain right now. So I think she just has a lot of negative associations with the riding and with someone getting on her. So I wanted to work through some of that on the ground and just get her a little bit happier with basically lining up for mounting. So what I'm doing with that is I'm teaching her that when I put my hand out here, that's essentially her cue to come over and line herself up, essentially line her withers up with my hand. So I use the target in a very similar way as what I just did here with, uh, with the head down, basically using the target to help her understand to step forward. And then I took the target away and just used the hand cue. So I'll show it show it to you the first time with the target and then we'll try just the hand cue and I think she's gonna hopefully remember this one and respond to this one a little bit better. We've done a little more with this than we have with the head down. Okay so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna put the hand out and bring the target up. So again this time I'm clicking for the forward movement and then I'm asking her to bring her head back because I want this as if we were on the mounting block. So I'm just going to move her here again. So you can see, so I'm going to step back, put my hand up. Now I want her to take another step, so there I'll put the target forward to help get that extra step there. Girl. So we'll do this again. I'm going to step back here. Put the hand out. Good girl. Okay, we'll try it again with just the hand here. Good girl. Good. So there was just kind of a little example. I think that one worked out a little bit better. How again, you can start to see how I use the target to help get the behavior initially. And then I basically use another cue so that she made the association. And then I can just use that other cue. That's obviously a little bit more practical than carrying a target everywhere. So I'm gonna give the stick a toss and I'm gonna just show you the last thing which was basically teaching her to target to my closed fist. And again, this is the one that I use when I'm out walking on the trails and I kinda need just a simple exercise to be able to get her to refocus and pay attention a little bit better. And today she's kind of, she needs some refocusing. She, I think she needs to move actually more than anything. But what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna put my fist out, touch, girl, touch, Girl, good girl. So exact same idea as the target. It really didn't take any additional training to recognize her to go to my fist. She kind of recognizes that when something's presented like that, she goes over, she touches it, and then she's reinforced for that. Touch, good girl. Touch, good girl. Okay, so that's going to conclude our video today on targeting. Again, I hope that this just kind of showed you how I have used this exercise, how I'm learning to use it. And there are other trainers out there that use this, um, you know, a lot more and have a lot more uses for it and probably do it a lot better than I do. So if you have any other places that you've used target training, or any other ideas of places where you could use it to help kind of get behaviors and just a different way of doing things, a different way of achieving the behavior. 
without always using the pressure and release, I'd love to hear about it. So go ahead and leave a comment. I'll see you in the comments. And as always, if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there. That's where the best conversation is. Thanks. Before we end this week's video, I figured I would just take a moment and show you kind of a fun little clip of me attempting to use targeting to teach a new trick or behavior to another species. So this is Francine the pygmy goat and I am I just got her actually about a week ago and I thought it would be fun to teach her a few things and see what I could do with her using the clicker training. So one of the first things that I taught her was targeting and now I'm attempting to use targeting to teach her to jump through this hula hoop. So we're probably not going to show you anything super fun or exciting today but I'll show you the beginnings of how I'm using it and uh, hopefully we'll have some better updates for you coming. All right, so first, we're just, we're just gonna do the target once or twice. And the, the procedure that I use is the same for the horses as far as basically the way that I, the way that I train it. And she's, uh, she learned this really quickly. Alright, so now we're going to put the two together and I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to use the target with the hoop. So I'm going to stick it out, put the target over here, and then I try to click her as she goes through the hoop. And my hope for that is that she's going to basically start to put together that's actually going through the hoop that's earning her the click. We'll see if she can go back the other way. So as you can see, when you get creative, there's lots of different applications for targeting. All right, I've only done it on the ground so far. The next time I'll put up a little bit higher and I'll see if she'll jump. So I'm going to try moving a little bit and see if I can get her kind of running coming into it. <laughs> and she's going to invent her, invent her own behaviors to go along with it. There we go. So we're still a little ways off from having a goat that readily jumps through the hula hoop, but I want to just kind of uh, show you how I'm using the targeting to hopefully get there. And if there's any more experienced clicker trainers out there that have any suggestions for me and Francine, we would greatly appreciate it. So have fun with, uh, with your clicker and whatever animal you are using to experiment with. <laughs>